All right, folks, this is kind of big temple news. And if you're interested in what's going on in the city of Jerusalem, or as we know it, Yerushalayim, you are going to be blown away at the headline that I'm about to read to you. Now, this is very, very important. And I there's a few uh, sort of nuances that I want to offer to the news story that I'm about to read because there are some things we need to be mindful of as we learn about some of this new Temple Mount uh, news that's actually developing. Now, this is from a few days ago, um, but it is interesting to see this developing in a publication like Israeli National News. Now, the title of it is uh, MK Rabbi uh, Eliyahu to in, we will go back to controlling the Temple Mount. This is what he tells Israel National News. When I said to in, that's what in stands for. Sorry, I'm making the assumption that you understand the abbreviations. Uh, most of you do. Uh, so the title is very interesting. It goes on to say that Rabbi Amechai uh, Eliyahu demands to take strong action against activists who hinder the Israeli Defense Force and strives to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. Let me read the first few paragraphs of this because this is very interesting. Designated Heritage Minister M.K. Rabbi Amechai uh, Eliyahu um, spoke with Israel National News about the incident in Hebron last weekend. Uh, these were the protesters. I did a video on this. You can go back and look at it from a few weeks ago. And called to act with a heavy hand against leftist activists who tried to disrupt the IDF's activities. He goes on to say this. This is his quote. He says, I was also a soldier in Hebron. I've run into these anarchists who provoke and... Uh, film partial videos. Uh, these are one-sidedly based people who try to catch IDF soldiers in embarrassing situations or to embarrass them, and we need to put them in their place. The police and IDF need to prevent them from provoking. Now, this is very interesting. I think that his point is very well taken and definitely falls on some very receiving ears, especially when you consider the fact that this is a tactic of the left. This is not just a tactic of the left here in the United States. It is undoubtedly a tactic of the left in Israel that seeks to put the Israeli Defense Force in a context of their own making in order to create a picture that makes it difficult for them to accomplish their purposes. I can give you an example of this. Many years ago, when they were going into the tunnels and clearing all the ruckus that was going on in those tunnels, over 25 young IDF soldiers lost their lives. And the way that the Palestinians were framing it, uh, let me back up, the Palestinian Authority was framing it, was that they were killed uh, by just patriots while they were seeking to invade and terrorize innocent Palestinian um, uh, citizens. Now, the reality of it was they gave their lives clearing underground tunnels that had explosives planted in it under Judea, Samaria, otherwise known as the West Bank. I don't I refuse to call it the West Bank. And what is interesting was those IDF soldiers died giving their lives or gave their lives for the safety of the Palestinians living in this area of Gaza. Now, this is something that a lot of people weren't talking about because it does not fit the narrative of the West. But it is very interesting how he goes on to say, and this is a, a, a very strong statement, right? This is very, very strong. He goes on to say that we must allow operations to take place on the Temple Mount, right? And they continue to uh, contest the fact that the Jews have a right to that very holy and sacred site. Now, I think that this... Uh, 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 sentiment is going to continue, but here's the nuance I want to offer. I believe we are closer than we ever have been to rebuilding a temple on the Temple Mount. But for all of the Christians that are really excited about this, yes, we should be excited in the sense that one day we are going to see the eminent return of Christ uh, come into fruition, and looking at the Temple Mount, having a new temple facilitated on it would seem to accelerate that process in that we know the time is getting near. But we shouldn't rejoice over this temple being built because this is a temple that is going to be built for the Antichrist, as we read about in Revelation 13, that will set himself up in this temple and demand to be worshipped. 
So all of you guys that are wanting to give money, not all of you guys, but people that are listening to me that aren't part of the regular audience, that are wanting to give money to the cause of the rebuilding of the temple, be careful what you wish for. Because yes, it does mean that the rapture of the church is imminent, but understand this, you are seeking to rebuild the place where the Antichrist will demand to be worshipped. I don't know about you, but kind of don't want that to happen. All right? I know it's going to happen. I know Jesus is coming, and I undoubtedly want that to happen, and he is absolutely coming soon. we got a lot to be excited about. God bless you guys.